Hey there, today is Monday, November 15th, 2021. Uh, it's uh, 10.40 p.m. I'm sitting on, a, on my couch at home, uh, listening to some uh, YouTube uh, video program. I had uh, like uh, four or five cans of beer with nice foods, but I'm okay. I'm not that drunk. I'm just happy. Uh, I ate uh, some chicken uh, food and uh, four or five cans of beer at a restaurant. Uh, it's not a pojang matcha. It's not a, a street vendor. It's just established one. But uh, for today, I'm going to read some interesting article about street food in Korea. Uh, many street foods are sold in Korea uh, out of small hut, uh, like a tent. Temporary tent set up on a, some uh, cart, large cart, and uh, it shelters people from uh, rain or snow or some uh, inclements. You can sit down on the bench uh, in front of what well, next to the just the by the sides of the tent. The tent is called the pojang matcha. The foods are generally cheap. Uh, they are relatively clean. Uh, they are not dirty, uh, they are relatively clean, but the uh, foods are different. It's not hamburgers, it's not hot dogs, it's more like a, a chicken food, a pig food, uh, sparrows. In old days they are offered a, a roasted sparrows. Uh, some other intestines, like a cow in intestines. Uh, they are clean, but they look a little bit dirty, but uh, usually they are roasted and offered. So uh, they are clean and basically uh, inoculated. It's uh, no, no germs. Uh, when the foods are roasted over the hot heat, then uh, the germs are gone, roasted. So uh, let's read this interesting article uh, from Ten Magazine. I think this is an interesting name for a magazine, maybe just uh, not, in, not uh, well known, but uh, let's check it out. How Pojang Matcha, that's a street uh, card. Pojang Matcha uh, street food is what you need. Uh, ma, ma cha, ma in Chinese, I'm learning Chinese. Ma means ca, uh, 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 horse, cha means chair, the car or cart. So matcha means a cart drawn by a horse. Pojang, pojang means boxed, tent. So we call the pojang matcha. See, those are the pojang matchas. Dwight School, Seoul. Well, I didn't know we have a Dwight School in Seoul. Uh, when, first, when I first arrived in Korea, I often walked the back streets of Daejeon in the frigid winter winds. I was intrigued to see rows of tents clad in orange or blue striped plastic, blue striped plastic with the see-through plastic windows, with the see-through plastic windows. Shivering, I peered through their plastic windows to see Seats, tables, tables, food, and people. The people sat in groups with food and drinks, huddling around heaters against the cold outside. I longed to go in. The tents seemed to be oases in the winter, shelter from the snow, and islands of com uh, comfort. What were these mysterious places? They were and are the famous pojang matcha of Korea, places where any traveler can stop briefly or at length. At length, when you want to drink like a five cans of beer, you need to stay there uh, at length. You can you you need to stop there at length. Okay, uh, I'm looking for my beer. On my shelf, uh, not sure. Uh, okay, I found my beers there. Uh, 
for a bit of inexpensive food. Yeah, they are inexpensive. A bracing drink and con convivial atmosphere. A cordial, cordial or convivial, very vibrant, upbeat, happy, rowdy, a red face, red cheeks, convivial, convivial atmosphere. Pojang matcha or covered wagon. Pojang matcha are something like a restaurant on wheels, a movable bar, or maybe even a psychiatrist's office. That's good insight. You observed very well. High and low. See the foods. They look dirty, well organized, but they look dirty, but actually they are not. Most of the foods are okay. A quick glance at Korean television dramas reveals the continuing importance of the pojang matcha to Koreans. Hardly a show goes by in which one character or another does not repair to the pojang matcha to hang out with the friends or to drown their sorrows in a bottle of soju. Hmm, to not repair to repair hmm to not repair to the pojang matcha a pojang matcha can sometimes be confused by westerners with a street food vendor or other food vendor working out of tent don't make this mistake koreans all know that the pojang matcha is a place you go to drink and we are not talking about juice here. Today, some places have even taken to calling themselves indoor pojang matcha, which have nothing to do with the tents or carts. They are essentially just bars, which have decided to adopt the name in, to, in, order, in order to imply the inexpensive, casual atmosphere of the original version. Today of the Great Pojang Matcha. Oh, sorry, history of the Great Pojang Matcha. Yeah, I have a sometimes bad eyesight without glasses. In one sense, Pojang Matcha are new. Well, Pojang Machas are new. They have existed in Korea for fewer than 60 years. But in another sense, they carry on a long Korean tradition. For centuries, Korean peddlers provided goods, services, and food by moving to where the customers were and not forcing their customers to come to them. Pojang matcha, hmm, not pojang matchas. Pojang matchas are merely the latest manifest station, manif manifestation. Sorry, manifestation of this type of Korean service. Fast food manifestation, fast food and drink that is provided somewhere close to customers' workplaces and homes. Pojang matcha first began to spring up early in the 1950s in and around Cheonggyecheon in Seoul. Their first pojang matcha were quite different from their modern counterparts. They were small cars and carts exposed to the elements, which sold small snacks and drinks. Later, some clever merchants began to cover their carts with an orange tarp, orange tarp, tarp, yeah, yeah, that's tarp. Pojang means tarp, okay? That's good English term, I forgot, that's tarp. Yeah, I was in the US military, we used a lot of tarps to cover our foxholes, tarp. There are small cars, orange tarp, provide stools to sit on, stools or bench. Stools and benches provide stools to sit on and sell small appetizers. This eventually became the norm with a tent containing 
a small cart and a handful of stools to sit on. As time went by, Pojang Macha began to get larger and to feature tables. In the 1970s, Pojang Macha flourished in Seoul as the Bali Bali Hurry Up culture of Korea kept Koreans at work late. Kept Koreans at work late. As the Seoul lights streamed out of work, they stopped at a Pojang Macha for a quick drink and bite to eat. Pojang Macha menus have become increasingly diverse, and the seating became even more comfortable. The new Pojang Macha, since just before the turn of the century, Pojang Macha have undergone a major evolution. In areas like Jongno in Seoul, Pojang Macha now offer extensive menus and there are even some with a table service. <laughs> with a table service, with a table service, usually you, you need the stools, benches, cars or carts. But now it comes with a table service. An idea that was never envisioned by the creators of the original Pojang Macha. Some Pojang Macha in Jongno and other areas now offer set menus with a combination of individual snacks put together in one plate. These inexpensive sets, as low as 2001, that's like one and a half dollars. Feature traditional Korean foods such as gimbap, rice rolls, tteokbokki, rice cake in pepper sauce, and sundae, sundae, not sundae, sundae, a Korean blood sausage. In addition, Pojang Matcha have begun to specialize, meaning that with a bit of research, you can now find a much wider range of foods. Finally, in a Pojang Matcha ask improv improvisation, some restaurant owners tack on an orange tented section to the front of their es establishments to keep out the winter cold. Don't be intimidated. The next time you are wandering the streets of your city or town and feeling a bit thirsty or peckish, 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 that's good term, thirsty or peckish, just to look for that flash of orange plastic. Inside, you will find a remarkable array of food and a simple but potent range of alcohol. Yeah, they have a soju, beer, makgeolli, sake, maybe wine. If you don't speak Korean, don't worry. Everything should be laid out on the cart and you can simply point to the food you want prepared. Stepping through the door for the first time can be daunting, but once inside, you will find the slight risk is worth it. You will find the slight risk is worth it. Pojang matcha etiquette. <laughs> well, you ha we have etiquette? You basically go and eat. Vegetarians beware. Not much in Pojang matcha is meat free besides the drinks. Geirang mari and tofu. Or oh, keran mari. Keran mari, that's egg roll. A kind of egg roll, a uh, roll of eggs, uh, scrambled eggs. Yeah, scrambled eggs rolls, keramari, and tofu kimchi are somewhat safe choices for vegetarians. Pojang machas are usually cash-only businesses, 
No credit cards are allowed. Yeah, many English teachers don't have uh, credit cards unless they have lived in Korea like uh, for more than five years. They usually don't have a credit card except American credit card. Pojang Machas do not have bathrooms. The good news is that Pojang Machas are normally near public restrooms. Though if you are worried, visit a Pojang Macha near a subway station or a park. Usually all you have to do is look a bit pained and say Hwajang Chil, bathroom, and the proprietor will point you in the right direction. Ew. Uh, yi ju wang qian zhou uh, wang you zhou Yes, that roll of toilet paper hanging in the pojang matcha is your napkin. Yeah, in Korea we use the toilet paper to wipe our uh, mouths. Yeah, it, they are clean, it's just conceptual problem. Americans feel uh, irksome, they feel dirty towards the uh, toilet paper on the table, but Koreans don't. They are clean. If you are cold, drink some of the hot broth that the uh, Odeng is cooking in. It's free. The rules of intoxication. If you are drinking in a pojang matcha, remember the rules of Korean drinking etiquette. 1. Don't pour alcohol into a cup that is not empty. You pour alcohol when the cup is empty. We are not Japanese. Japanese do that. We Koreans wait patiently, even though we are impatient at work. If someone pours for you, you pour back for them. You scratch my back and I scratch your balls. Hold the cup and if the person pouring is older than you, hold it with the two hands. Obvious in Korea, if you, you need to use the two hands, otherwise you are slapped in the face. The same is true for pouring drink. Yeah, final five. Finally, if you are drinking with someone older, it is customary to turn your head about 15 degrees away from your elder when you are drinking. Well, not necessarily these days. I drink like a face to face. I don't turn my head. Why? We just drink together. The uh, time has passed. Now it's uh, different times. Pojang Matcha guide the drinks. It won't surprise anyone who has been in Korea to discover that the uh, main beverage consumed in Pojang Matcha is soju. In addition to this beverage of choice, beer and makgeolli rice beer are also commonly sold. Other drinks are available. But these three are the holy trinity. Soju, makgeolli, and beer, they are holy trinity. These three are the holy trinity. I'm not sure Pope would like this expression, but soju, makgeolli, and beer are the holy Korean, Korean's holy trinity. The food, as Pojang Matcha have evolved, so have their menus, but there are some traditional favorites that have proven too popular to change. The first seven are typical dishes that have been served for several decades and are still common today with some fading away. These are the OGs of the Pojang Matcha. What is OG? OG? Oak? I don't know. The final three items, more recent additions to the scene, are also much more accessible for most Westerners. One, takpa, chicken feet. Think of the takpa as the Korean version of buffalo wings, hot, spicy, and chewy. The bones are usually removed from the feet, which are then boiled in soy sauce. Be warned. Even folks who can handle spice food may quail at these. 
Two, gomjang e hag fish. Hag fish is one of the most famous dishes that the company sold you. They are typically grilled on a charcoal fire and served with vegetables including red and green peppers. It's supposed to be good for stamina. Man, you are really、uh, Koreanized. You know everything, man. I'm sure. Yeah, I would like to sit down together with you at a pojang matcha and drink. Eat takal, takpal, or a、uh, uh, hagfish with you.、Uh, I don't know what you are or who you are, but、uh, yes, my dear. If you contact me, I will treat you to a run to the pojang matcha together. How about that? Yeah, you call me or you text me. Yache tea gim. Why you like that fried vegetables? These tasty deep fried veggies have a softer coating than regular deep fried food. They also go well with makgeolli. Definitely for ojinga he. Yeah, squid. Ojinga <laughs> game. Squid game. Hanchi he. Hoi he. Hoi. Han Chiu Hui. I don't know Han Chiu Hui. Two kinds of raw squid. These are two distinct types of squid, but they can't tell. We can't tell the difference. Me either. They are served with salt in sesame oil, or with a gochujang red pepper sauce, takbokki, soft rice cake, and sweet gochujang sauce. A popular Korean food made from soft rice cake, fish cake, and the sweet red chili sauce called gochujang. Six, oden fish cake, made from fish and wheat flour, and served on long wooden sticks or in soup. Seven, sun sunde sunday sunde fl- blood sausage. Pig intestines are filled with chopped vegetables, glass noodles, and pigs or glass noodles tangmyeon. Hmm. A tangmyeon means、uh, noodles from Tang Dynasty in China. Glass noodles. They are transparent, o- opaque, but transparent. So it is called glass noodles. And pigs' blood and served salted. With the liver slices. If that sounds like a bit much, try to think of Sunday as the Korean version of haggis. Haggis. Karamari folded egg. This is pretty close to a Western omelet, and if you are accompanied by a picky eater, picky eater. Or one who doesn't like spicy food, this along with oden is the safest choice. Nine, jeyuk bokgum, spicy stir-fried pork. Stir-fried pork. This can be a tad spicy for the cooler palate, though it doesn't hold a candle to the chicken feet. Though it doesn't hold the candle to the chicken feet, it doesn't hold the candle to the chicken feet. Although this doesn't hold the candle to the chicken feet. Ten kimchi tubu kimchi with tofu, an extremely popular dish. The cool, soft taste of the tofu matches extremely well with the spicier kimchi. The tofu can be a challenge for the chopstick impaired. Are you chopstick impaired? Me no, I'm Korean, so I'm not chopstick impaired. You cannot hold a candle to me with a chopstick handling. Crazy pojang matcha street food. Over recent years, the pojang matcha stalls have started to adapt to the changing palate. Of the younger generation, crazier street has started to pop up to keep the street food popular. Here are a few examples of things you might find today at a pojang matcha. Most revolve around hot dogs. One French fry corn dogs, 
mandagi hatolu. A corn dog surrounded by a massive club of French fries, deep fried. What's not to love about that corn dog? Two bacon wrapped hot dog. A pretty self-explanatory. Another food creation I I'm pretty sure everyone has made or wanted to make at 3 a.m. Three tornado potato hot dog. This is a hot dog on a stick with a spiral of potato. Usually, you'd just get the potato wrapped around the stick. But these guys upgraded and stuck. Once again, a hot dog in the middle. That's delicious. Where to find pojang matcha? So, in general, you can wander around Jongno, Ulchiro, Namdaemun, and Guro Digital Complex and Dongdaemun areas. For particular dishes, see the list below. Iron Dong Iron Station Line Two Exit Three Specialty Odor Bia Soft Pork Bones Terim Dong Terim Station Line Seven Exit Eleven Specialty Doktori Tang Doktori Tang Braised Chicken Soup Hmm Braised Chicken Soup Dongdaemun Alley. Tong Demonstration Line One and Four, Exit Seven. Yeah, sometimes lines one and four, line one and four, cross the Cheonggyecheon Bridge, make a left turn and go straight 200 meters until the Suya Bank Alley on your right. Chamshil Chamshil Station Line Two, Exit One. Right alley specialty: Dakalbi chicken feet. Jongno Samga, Jongno Samga station, lines one and five. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It should be lines one and four. Four here, lines one and five. That's right. Specialty: vegetable stir fry with gochujang and pork intestines. I think the writer is maybe Korean. Myeongdong, Myeongdong Station. Yeah, why STN? Just station. Lines four or oh, line four exit eight. Specialty Korean fast food. Takalbi, Odeng, Sun, Sunde, Shishi kebabs, French fry, corn dogs. Noreangji, Noreangji Station. Line one exit one. Specialty kimchi, bokkeumbap, fried rice. Jumukbap, jumukbap, rice balls. Yeongdeungpo Market near the KB Bank at the Yeongdeungpo Market intersection, 200 meters from Yeongdeungpo Market Station, Line Five, Exit Four, Specialty. Hol Bengi Work, Work, Hong Hap Tang Muscle Stew, Stew, Daejeon, behind the old city market near the Daejeon train station. These are old school pojang matcha, Gwangju, Park Town, Gumnamno, Foga Station, Gwangju Line One, Exit Two. Takes ten minutes on foot towards Gwangju Park. Specialty: Jeju Bokum Stir Fried Spice Pork, Busan, Hyundai Beach, Namdaemun Dong Jagalchi. Okay, Daegu Busan. Hmm, that's good. Charles Montgomery. Charles Montgomery was born in the U.S. and teaches in the English Interpretation and Translation Division of Dongguk University in Seoul. Obviously, he is interested in Korean literature, which he reads in English as his Korean is poor. Fuck that! You should learn Korean, man. Charles, be a man and learn Korean. Charles has worked with a LTI Korea on various projects, and received an honorary citizenship of Seoul for his work in Korean literature in translation. Good job. He can be reached at Charles at ktlit.com. Hey Charles, uh, thanks for good writing. 
Thanks for good information. You can contact me for a sit down at a Pojang Matcha. I'll treat you to the Holy Trinity. And maybe Takpa and some other stuff. Uh, but uh, you can always contact me for more consultation on Korean literature, uh, Korean language learning, and some other general business ideas. Uh, your article shows good insight into the Pojang Matcha culture. Uh, there are several expressions I learned from you, like a see-through a plastic window, see-through plastic window, corn dog. Yeah, I know those words, but uh, it reminded me of some good expressions that I wanted there uh, to remember. Uh, see-through plastic windows, tarp. Uh, hagfish is kopjang gop hagfish. A uh, visceral. A corn dog, hot dog, uh, Sunday. Sunday? Uh, Sunday is good ice cream in America, but uh, I'm not sure why you uh, wrote Sunday for Sunday. Uh, if I were you, I would written it like a S U N D A I, but different people, different strokes. Okay. Uh, what else? Yeah, you like an old man, 15 degrees away, that's old tradition. Lines 4 and 5, here lines 1 and 5, correct? But in other areas, you are wrong, right? So pay more attention in your next article, please. Hot dog, stir fry. Well, that's it for my... Uh, uh, daily English reading. This is good article. I recommend penmagazine.com and Charles Montgomery. You are a good person and good a good writer. Uh, yep. But let me go over the uh, article briefly to see like stir fried, braised chicken stew, covered wagon, a tarp wagon. I'm learning Chinese. Pojang Macha on wheels. Bar. Psychiatrist's office. You've been in Korea so many years, Charles. Uh, you cannot hold a candle to them. Yeah, hold a candle to someone or something. Not on the part. Lack some quality. Fast food, small cars. Hurry up, Pali Pali, hurry up. Soul lights. Orange tented section. Don't be intimidated. The slight risk is worth it. The slight risk is worth it. The slight risk is worth it. Thanks for uh, listening. That's it. And thanks, Charles. Bye-bye.